Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for how do they feel about you? So let's have a look, see what's coming through and also what messages I can give to you. And uh, yeah, I think it's quite fair that we should begin and uh, let's get started. So um, actually the first thing I want to mention is if you would like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to um, purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy and also intention hand embroidered cards are on Etsy as well which you can put under your pillow, in your wallet, or your purse. Let me just grab one. Ta-da! So these are hand embroidered. So there's a bracelet. Um, there's also the intention cards. This is the evil eye bracelet, and they are handmade. They're meditated with sage, and they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. There's so many different items on my Etsy store, so do check those out if you are interested. Free international shipping and more importantly if you want to see the reviews to see how other people have seen results with them and how they like them and things like that um, definitely do check out my Etsy store link will be in the description box below all right let's begin <laughs> Aquarius see what's coming through this is called the albano weight for those of you that are just wondering what the deck is called They are, so, do you know, I was literally just going to say that, they are so slippery. I was saying this actually in the other um, the other two readings just before this one, the Gemini and the Libra reading. These cards are so, so slippery. Um, so anyways, let's just put those back in there. We have got here, interestingly enough, two cards that flipped over. One is the King of Cups and the other one is the Three of Wands. Now, I am an upright reader. Okay, thought I'd just, you know, mention that. Um, that is how I connect best with tarot, and everyone has their own preferences, so I thought I'd just let you know, but we've got the King of Cups and the Three of Wands. Now, to me, this really showcases that this person has some very strong feelings towards you. This person feels that you are really, really on point. I don't know how else to say it. What's the cool kid um, phrase? On fleek. You are on fleek. <laughs> you are on fire. You are someone that just knows what you want in life, right? You are a no BS person. You you are straightforward, right? You can't deal with games and playing around and this and that. And You know, you are very straightforward. And that is what this person has realized. On the flip side, this person, for some reason, needs some time, okay? And we will get to the bottom of that as I start to shuffle a little bit more. But one thing for sure is that this person does have feelings towards you because they realize that, wow, you are so genuine. You know what you want in life. Like, that's that's really rare in terms of, like, a future. You know what you want, right? I do feel that you're someone that wants stability. You want happiness. You want joy. You want satisfaction. You want a partner. You know, a partner. And that's what we're seeing here. Look at that. We've got the Page of Cups, which shows feelings, right? Manifestation of feelings. So this person's feelings towards you have really grown. I mean, page to the king, that's strong. Now, I do want to mention as well, I read energies in tarot, not specifically genders, so I thought I would just mention that as well. But king, hello, king. Nice to see you there. Let me just bow down to your, <laughs> bow down to your presence. This is beautiful because it shows that, yes, this person has feelings towards you, but this person is also trying to in many ways, take their time. I, I do see that this person has feelings, but they really don't want to rush things. That is one of their worst fears. Their the fear is going into this so quickly um, that they feel at times, what if, what if they mess things up? Whether you have known this person for a long time, whether you've known this person for a short time, they don't want to rush things. They just don't want to rush things and move too fast in certain directions. Okay, regardless of how, how long you've known this person, and even if you've recently just come into contact with, with this person again, like they really don't want to rush things. The fool here shows that they, they do want to move fast, but they're, they're trying to hold their horses. <laughs> that phrase, hold your horses. And what was the other one? Don't get your knickers in a twist. Some <laughs> all these phrases, I think these are like, um, I, I think some of these are like quite British. I don't know actually. Let me know if you use any of these sort of phrases um, in different countries. I'm really quite fascinated, but I hear I hear it so much on British television. I don't know if it's like specifically a British thing. 
The fool here, of course, is ruled by Uranus. Uranus is very, very spontaneous. And again, you know, this person just feels like they just want to move things faster with you. But again, they don't want to ruin things. So that's why this person is trying to really hold themselves back and take things one step at a time so that they don't ruin things, so that they don't move too quickly to the point where things go backwards. They only want to move forwards with you, but they want to do it at a pace which is reasonable, a pace which is healthy in their eyes, in their eyes. And then the seven of wands shows that they just don't want to give up on you either. So if you feel like this person's being hot and cold, just know that it's taking a lot out of them to sort of stay a bit held back. Like they don't want to feel out of control. And I do feel that if they like rush things, which to be honest, they have this urge to do, they really do feel like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't do that. You know, what if things go even more backwards? So it's on one side, they want to, move things faster and on the flip side they're thinking to themselves no no if I do that oh my gosh you know this whole thing could just um, collapse and that could be the end of it and you know they're just going crazy in their mind in regards to all of that so I am really seeing here that this person cannot hold back but they're purposely trying to so that they don't ruin things and so that everything just goes one step at a time and they feel happy and content with the progression of this connection there we go there we go okay oh yeah look at this see naturally they just want things to progress three to the four they naturally just want to move into things lightning speed the speed of sound really they do but the other thing here is with the hanged man they're purposely trying to take their time so that the connection can have a little bit more breathing space a bit more room and you know, they, they feel like it's just a healthier thing to do. There's a spiritual connection here that I pick up. Could be that the two of you are soulmates. Could be that the two of you are twin flames. Interesting, right? And a potential past life connection as well is coming through. Okay. Emperor. Nice. All right, well, oh, actually, we still need one more card. Should we just take the card at the bottom of the deck? Whoa, look at that, Ten of Pentacles. And I'm just going to put that a bit more, not too much on the edge, because they do, <laughs> they, these cards, super slippery, super slippery. So that's what we have. You know, I was like, wow, when I looked at the Emperor, I was like, oh, Oh, that's nice. This person has a lot of physical feelings towards you. And what I mean by that is they really do admire the way that you look, the way that you carry yourself, the way that you think, um, you do things, and also the motivation and the passion that you have in life is really endearing to them. They really do feel that that's such a beautiful, beautiful quality. And that's why they have this fighting spirit towards you. You know, the emperor is wearing armor. They want to fight for you, but again, they don't want to rush into things. See, naturally, they want to rush. They really do but they hold themselves back on purpose. And that's what I'm seeing. It's hard for them to hold themselves back. And look at this, we've got more wands, we've got a lot of fire energy. It could also be that maybe you're dealing with someone, this person could be um, someone that has fire very high up in their chart. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their sun, moon, rising or Venus signs. Again, this nine of wands here really does show a strong energy of them thinking about the progression, right? They have a lot of thoughts and feelings towards you. They're purposely trying to lower the action if that makes any sense lower you know like actually putting in effort and progression they're like lowering a lot of that because they just want to make sure that they take their time in things and they don't rush everything and that's what's coming through is that they're sort of just you know taking their time with things empress yes look at that counterparts wow so this person really does have very strong feelings towards you, but again, they're just wanting to enjoy the journey rather than rush to a destination. And that's what the chariot here shows. You've got that yin and yang energy with the two sphinx. You've got here the chariot, which is this beautiful energy of just feeling this emotional bond and connection to you. You've got a lot of that water energy with the emotional bond. Chariot is ruled by cancer, which by the way, is this really loving, kind, caring, mother-like energy. So again, they have those feelings towards you. And the 10 of pentacles shows that this person does see a future with you but they want to take their time with things. They do not want to rush things. And again, you've got those pentacles. So let this person pursue you, progress things with you and initiate things with you like we see with the arches. Arches and tarot represent initiation. Wow. 
All right, so Aquarius, this is your reading. I hope it gave you lots of clarity, information, and knowledge. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comments section below. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, my bracelets, and the intention cards, Etsy store. Everything is always down below. And I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Do take care.